Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source, and I am in high spirits because we're coming off a hot Thursday night. Perfect NFL ticket. Uh, NBA was about mediocre, barely turned a profit, but NHL slaughtered it also. Just a great Thursday. We're riding that momentum for another hot weekend. Uh, NBA Friday's about to start, so let me rip through this video. For this episode, we're talking Big Ten football again, back-to-back -back Big Ten games, rivalry, Michigan, Michigan State, let's go. Welcome to The Source. The sword. The sword. Hey, get the sword. All right, like I said, we got Michigan on the road at Michigan State. Uh, the line for this one is Spartans plus four and a half. As of Monday afternoon, the action's pretty even, man. Bets and money both pretty even in this one. Yo, check this out, though. As we cruise through the week, more and more Michigan State money is coming in, and the books react to it right away. That line drops from four and a half down to Michigan State plus four early in the week. By, like, Wednesday, it's dropped. Uh, we're now up to 68% of the money on the Spartans. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers through the spreadsheet. According to the analytics, the line for this game should be Michigan State plus 0.81 points. So a slight lean on the Spartans. Actually, it's about a three-point lean. So a decent lean, nothing crazy. Uh, so we got slight lean on Michigan State. All right, so let's run through a quick breakdown of this game. And I want to talk about a key piece of the Michigan State team in this game in particular. And that's going to be their defensive front, specifically their defensive line. Now, they might have the best defensive line in the entire Big Ten. They're big, athletic, and physical. Um, they can stop the run, plug some gaps, and they can rush the passer all at an elite level, which is huge against this Michigan team. But the thing that Jim Harbaugh does uh, with this Michigan offense, they run a really unique offense. So if you just look at their offense on paper, um, obviously their strength is their offensive line. And you may be like, oh, the horrible matchup then because Michigan State's defensive line is going to dominate them. But Michigan doesn't really use its offensive line in the traditional way. I mean, they run all kinds of crazy shit. They get the ball out in the flats quick, bubble screens, uh, little quick hits. Uh, they'll get the running back out in the flat. They'll hit the tight end right underneath. They do all kinds of different creative things. Their offensive line is their strength, but not because they just like to pound the ball between the tackles. Their offensive linemen are everywhere. You'll see a guard and a tackle blocking all the way out by the sideline, like pretty often. So even though the Spartans defensive line is better than Michigan's offensive line, and it is better, I will give Michigan credit because they do a really good job of keeping opponents' defenses off balance, specifically their defensive line. So they might have this defensive line guessing back and forth all day. Don't get me wrong, that's not enough. Cade McNamara is gonna have to be great in this game. He's gonna have to make good decisions consistently for four quarters, and he's gonna have to make some plays without a doubt. Uh, but truth be told, I do think Michigan's going to put up some points in this game on Michigan State. Now, on the other side, when Michigan State has the ball against Michigan's defense, this is actually not a great matchup for the Spartans again. Uh, we know how they love to feed the ball to Kenneth Walker. They love setting the tone with their run game. They have possibly top two, top three back in the entire country. Uh, Michigan's run defense has been good as hell all year. In fact, you can make an argument that nobody has really run on Michigan yet this entire season. That should concern you if you're a Michigan State fan. And if, if you are a Michigan State fan, I want you to go look at Michigan's schedule. Uh, run through the box scores real quick. Show me which teams were able to run on Michigan's defense. I mean, Nebraska put up some numbers, but a big chunk of those were Adrian Martinez scrambling. No, uh, they're really good against the run for real. Michigan State might have some problems. Here's the great news for Michigan State though. Peyton Thorne, Yo, he's not just some game manager developing kid anymore. This kid's throwing strikes, and they have weapons too. Uh, that kid Naylor, um, they got that kid Jaden Reed, I think his name is. Yo, they got weapons out there at Michigan State. The way Peyton Thorne's been throwing the ball, he's gonna put Michigan in a spot where you cannot sell out to stop Kenneth Walker on the run, because he's gonna pull it back for a play action, and he is not shy. He will go over the top on you. So as much as I think Michigan's defense matches up really well to stop Michigan State's offense, I still think Michigan State's going to connect on a couple of those deep balls. I think Michigan State's going to score points in this game, too. So who are we betting? Well, for starters, you probably already guessed. I'm going to bet the over here. I think it was at 50 and a half, maybe 51, somewhere in there. I'll put it on the screen. Definitely betting the over. As far as picking a side goes, I feel like the numbers are pointing more towards Michigan being the right side. But three things that are always true, <laughs> death, taxes, and I will fade Jim Harbaugh in big games. Give me those four points. Give me Michigan State plus four. I think Peyton Thorne keeps that Michigan secondary honest and those linebackers honest enough to get Kenneth Walker some space to open up the run game. Um, I like Michigan State, let's say 
37-33. Random ass score. Give me Michigan State, give me those four points. That will not make the top seven bets, uh, but I probably, Michigan State probably makes the final ticket, maybe as a half unit bet, we'll see. Uh, speaking of which, final ticket posted on kylecrums.com, 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. I'll have my bet of the day, parlay of the day, top seven bets, along with every single bet I'm making for the entire Saturday in all sports. Post it right there on kylecrims.com. Make sure you check it out. Also, if there's any crazy last minute changes, uh, injury updates, money shift, line movement, anything like that, I will definitely put it on my Twitter, Instagram story, and Facebook. So make sure you check those three platforms as well before you place your bet. College football week nine is here. We had a great weekend last week. Then we had a nice little week too, leading up into this one, and I'm feeling another hammer. Let's have a good day. I'll talk to you on Twitter.